Dreams do not have a filter that your normal, polite, waking self puts up. Welcome to the hidden meaning of dreams with Sweet Georgia Pam. It does matter what the dreamer themselves associates with those things that come up in the dream. Spiritual director, dream expert, author, and educator, Sweet Georgia Pam is here to remind us that dreams are the answer. They're always with you. They know you better than you know yourself, and they're always trying to tell you the truth. There's some back and forth here between you and some awareness. And now your host, Melissa Carter. Welcome. SweetGeorgiaPam.com is the website that you need to bookmark. Do we still bookmark anymore? I do. I don't know. Is that an old fashioned thing to say? <laughs> bookmark. <laughs> but I still you, bookmark. You know it. what? In your in your social media, you add to favorites. That's okay. So add, so add sweetgeorgiapam.com to your favorites. And also you can always DM her uh, on the socials at Sweet Georgia Pam, right? That's where That's they're going to find you. Uh, yeah. We'll tell you more about what is on her website. And also if you're watching this on YouTube, you can describe your dream below. You can give feedback on what she's talking about in dreams below. So, you know, just let us know about what's going on with you. Pam, my friend, I'm so excited because I saw this article. She does not know about this article that I saw last night. What did and you I thought, find? I'm so excited. This is out of the Los Angeles Times. Mm -hmm. And Stuart Miller did a story on Janelle Monet. Love her. Singer, actress, fantastic. And she has done a lot with a particular dream she had. Okay. So I thought maybe mm -hmm. today, not only could you talk about this dream of hers, but the fact that she's doing something with it, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you about the dream in a second, but she had this nightmare. So it was a bad dream. Mm -hmm. And since she had it a few years ago, her album from 2018, Dirty Computer, actually was inspired by that dream. And then now she has just released her first book, which is a collection of science fiction stories, again, inspired by this nightmare. Wow. Right? And so here's the dream. Just a few years ago, she dreamt she was kidnapped from a movie theater by mysterious creatures that wiped her memory clean. Oh, my God. I'm taking notes. And I don't know whether it's because we've started this podcast or are we pushing into the, you know, into the universe, people talking about dreams. But it's just fascinating that I notice this now. I notice these stories more now. And so, yes. yeah, this this again, was just in the LA times. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to tell Pam about this. It's a, it's a juicy one. <laughs> oh, it's a juicy one too. And you know, what's funny is I was in dream session with somebody else earlier this week and kidnapping came up and that's not a common thing for me. So here it is again. And I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. Kidnapping. Mm -hmm. What is that? Right. Mm, mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. Well, I, the first thing I want to say is hooray for Janelle, like allowing creativity for her dreams to be an outlet of creativity. Mm -hmm. So smart for creatives in general and artists and musicians and actors to create that back and forth dialogue with their dreams because it's just a wellspring, right? We dream the weirdest stuff. Right. Well, and it's also unrestrictive, right? So that's the mm -hmm. other thing I think with people who were in a creative block, right? They can't think of new ideas or they can't think of a new song or a new book or whatever. Yes. Dreams yes. are a great resource for that because they're untethered. Yes, they should open their old dream journals. Or that start one be. if they don't have one. Yes, start one if you don't have one, but open those old ones if you do. Okay, so let's go, let's go straight to kidnapped. Okay. So kidnapped. So we've got kidnapped, movie theater, mm -hmm. mysterious creatures, clearing out memory. Correct. That's those are very clear symbols. So with kidnapping. Kidnapping is a, is a very specific form of um, snatching <laughs> or removing. Mm -hmm. It's removing the whole person. It's removing the whole person from a scene. When we went into this earlier in session, it's different than somebody robbing you because they're taking your identity. Okay. But if they're kidnapping you, they're taking your whole being out of the picture. It's like if my ego were suddenly taken, my identity was suddenly gone from a scene, what remains? And here's, here's the thing about that. In dreams, all of the, you can think of all of the parts of the dream as parts of your own unconscious. Mm -hmm. 
and the dreamer themselves is ego, right? So mm-hmm. if, if she gets kidnapped, what's left, right? A movie theater. So what's left is whatever plays out. I like that location. The mysterious creature makes sense in that it's part of, it's something, let me, how do I say this? Anytime you have an unknown creature or a person without a face, what that means is there's a part of your learning that hasn't taken shape yet. Okay. There's a, something rising up from the unconscious or some hmm. growth is happening, but it hasn't broken through the surface of your awareness yet. Okay. Okay. So this is a mysterious creature that snatches the ego mm-hmm, mm-hmm. from a movie theater. There's your acting piece. Role-playing. That's what movie theater makes me think of. Role-playing. Okay. And clearing her memory. That's like exploring, oh God, it's so dark. It's so dark, but it's like exploring death from the perspective of staying alive Mm -hmm. and look and watching what would happen if I died. Mm -hmm. What would happen if my whole identity was taken from the scene and I couldn't remember the life that I had? That's like- that's like next level starting over. <laughs> well, here's here. I want to follow up. I was curious what you were going to say, because she talks about her interpretation of the dream. Oh, I love it. And it is just as you were talking about, but her bringing her life into it, meaning that she is part of the LBGTQ community and that she's African-American. So a lot of her writing that she is doing now with this book Uh, some of the perspective from her album has to do with that identity of being gay. I believe she uses the word queer and African-American that if somebody was taking that identity away from her, trying to suppress that identity. Next level starting over. So she and Pam are on the same wavelength. Oh, that is amazing. But what I love about your interpretations, it teaches people to think about their dreams in again, a healing way, a learning way instead of it being logical, instead of it being exactly what somebody thinking, oh, well, it's alien creatures from Mars that have got me out of a movie theater. And I was, you know, just watching a movie last night. So that's probably what it was about. Yes. Instead of it being something that your body is trying to process. Yes. And express or, you know, not taking them literal. Cause a lot of times with a nightmare like that, she could have woken up and just been like, oh my God, something's terribly wrong and I'm in trouble. (laughs) Mm -hmm. this is a warning dream. I better be careful, right? This is a warning of maybe I'm going to get kidnapped, right? Mm -hmm. It's not that literal interpretation is that's the last place we should go. Now now it's it's funny you say that to throw in, because we usually only interpret one dream, but to throw in a similar thought in my mind, I never analyzed it that way. But when I, one of my first nightmares, and I've talked about a funny nightmare earlier, but one of my first true chilling nightmares was I was kidnapped as a child and I was naked and I was in the back floorboard of the kidnapper's car where you couldn't see me, you know, and as a child, I thought, again, it's this warning. I'm of the same age as Adam. I don't know if people are old enough to know, you know, Walsh, uh, John Walsh's son, Adam, (laughs) was kidnapped and murdered. Mm -hmm. And that's why he did the work he's done on television, but I'm the same age as Adam. So, you know, at that time I probably Mm -hmm. dismissed it as, Oh, I've seen these stories about this young boy who was kidnapped and killed. But at the same time, I was processing obviously something within the dynamic of my family, maybe, or so, you know, something else that I was too young to understand, Mm -hmm. but it was my body trying to process what was going on in my life. See, I just love this. I love how you've introduced me to that concept. Good. And it's both and, right? There is a waking life trigger that will bring about these dreams and these nightmares, but then your mind adds to it. Your unconscious mind like throws in a bunch of stuff and it's like, good, let's also work on this and let's explore Mm -hmm. this. And that trigger is what starts like a snowball, but then it builds and builds and builds. And by the time you get to the dream space, there's layers and layers of psyche and emotional processing that can be worked through. 
you mentioned earlier that you do sessions, you do do private sessions. And I'm yes. going to go back to the website, sweetgeorgiapam.com, because for listening to the show, I mean, you get a free downloadable guide called Six Nights to Better Dream Recall, right? For those who may have a hard time remembering their dreams and now they want to after listening to this. Plus you get a free half hour Zoom session with Pam to remap your direction spiritually. Talk about your dreams. But again, you can also hire Pam to do private work with you if you want to do more. Correct? Did Correct. I get all that right? Yes, yes. Fantastic. Y'all. Please find me and share your dreams with me and let's unpack them together. Absolutely. And she's on social media at Sweet Georgia Pam on all the socials. And again, if you're watching on YouTube, describe your dream in the comments and we may share it on a future show. Pam, my friend, thank you so much. Thanks. This was fun. Sweet dreams, everybody. The content in this podcast is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Pam Muller is not a licensed mental health professional. If you or someone you know suffers from severe, persistent nightmares, please seek medical help.